Hey everyone, welcome back. Let's talk about dishes with chemical sensitivities. Um, there are only a few fragrance-free products for dishes. Few are still without petroleum products in it and biocides under the guise of preservatives in them. Um, you can still find some things though. And alternatives there are for others. Um, let's start with the dishwasher. What detergent and how much largely depends on the type of water. So if you have hard water, like I do, the pods generally don't work. <laughs> they leave a horrible film on the dishes. I don't recommend pods. I recommend powder. Um, I've tried a few fragrance-free dishwasher detergents. Um, I've also made a homemade one, which there are videos of here on YouTube. Um, we did end up buying Nellie's in a five gallon bucket because they finally released a refill for the dishwasher powder. So that's gonna last me for years and years to come. So I'm not gonna have to bother buying dishwasher detergent. So initially we had bought it at the Home and Garden Show at the local expo. They'd had a stand, we'd wanted to try some of the laundry products and we managed to get the dishwasher powder put in with it. And it worked pretty good. Um, when we had a really crappy dishwasher, um, I used a scoop of the Nellie's powder. And it's about a tablespoon, the scoop that comes with the Nellie's. And a scoop of my homemade dishwasher powder. And that worked best with the really crappy dishwasher we had. Uh, that one did spring a leak, and we decided to replace it instead of repair it because it sucked. And the new one, new, it's about a year old. It was very interesting to buy a new dishwasher during COVID, but the pandemic, don't say the C word. Uh, now with the new dishwasher that we bought during the pandemic, um, we just use one scoop of the Nellie's and it's good. And I could probably just use one scoop of the homemade, but I bought a five gallon bucket, so I'm just gonna keep using Nellie's. Um, also in the dishwasher, rinse aid. Uh, uh, maybe with certain types of water, you might be able to get away with not using it. Um, if I don't have a rinse aid in my dishwasher, I get bit of a white film after a couple of washes. Um, however, mainstream rinse aids are a no. <laughs> Definitely no. Um, they all seem to have ingredients that make me ill. And the ones that look like they might be okay have biocides in them. And I don't understand that. Just why? Anyways, what I do Okay, well, I'll start with what I used to do. I used to take a, just a regular cup and put some vinegar in it and put it in the top rack of the dishwasher. And then, like, the water would splash in, splash out the vinegar, and, you know, things would be a little better when they dried. Um, but now, I just put it in the rinse aid compartment of the new dishwasher. And if I let it get low, I've find I get a slight white film on my stuff and I just put more vinegar in the right side compartment and it seems to work and my my dishes don't smell like vinegar so bonus also once vinegar dries there's no more smell um, hand washing dishes hand washing dishes has been beyond problematic for me um, not just because physically I end up in a lot of pain from washing dishes. I can't be around foaming agents anymore. Um, which means absolutely no liquid dish soap. 
I tried. I tried so many. That's actually how I found out that it was a foaming agent that I can't be around, and that's probably why I get sick to everyone, because their shampoos all have foaming agents, is because of the damn liquid dish detergent. Anyways. Foaming agents, just, they're in all of them. So I spent a very long time looking for alternatives. A liquid hand soap, like what I use for hand soap. Um, like it, it would get the dishes clean, but it would leave a uh, film. They just looked a little greasy and I didn't like that. Uh, so like my liquid hand soap doesn't foam. <laughs> But anyways, um, eventually I found an alternative um, that didn't have a bunch of crap or essential oils in it, and that is the No Tox Life Dish Block. So it's a bar soap meant for washing dishes. Um, that's what I ended up buying a couple years ago, and that was the only thing that didn't make me sick. Like these really clean liquid dish soaps that everyone was recommending to me were making me ill because of the foaming agents. Um, so I ended up buying this No Tox Life dish bar a couple of years ago, and I'm still using it. Um, they have since changed the formula though, and they now advertise bigger, better bubbles. So I don't know if there's a foaming agent in there now. I don't know if I go buy a new one, if it'll be okay. <sighs> Ugh. Anyways. Using a solid bar type of soap is a very different cleaning technique than how I was raised with the liquid dish soap and how I've seen people wash with liquid dish soap. Uh, liquid dish soap, you put a little bit of the soap in and you fill your sink with water and you wash until there's no more bubbles and then you get new water and soap. That doesn't work. <laughs> when you have stuff that doesn't bubble, or doesn't bubble a lot. Um, it took me a long time to accept the lack of bubbles, because I had been raised where, oh, if the bubbles go away, you're now out of soap, you need to get new water and soap to clean things. Um, it's, it's a very different technique, too. You gotta get your brush or your cloth wet, do a wipe on the soap, and then wash whatever, then you don't want to just drop things in water because you want to keep your soap. Anyways, <laughs> it's different. Um, I have found I actually use much less water now because I'm not filling a sink and I'm just using water to rinse everything I've washed. And yeah, over time it'll fill the sink and I'll throw things in the sink a bit to soak as I fill the sink, but I use way less water. Um, it was quite a learning curve, but I am glad I was able to figure it out and find a product that works. And hopefully, next year when I need to restock, it's still tolerated. Anyways, that has been my dishes adventure. Thanks for watching. Bye.